Hi everyone, I'm Courtney Tolmy. I'm a senior program director who's been working on the Transparency for Development project or the T4D project for many years now and I'm excited to do this video for you all today. Hi, I'm Jessica Creighton. Um, I'm a program manager of the Transparency for Development program um, and I'm also excited to be talking to you today. Great. Um, so the reason why we're doing this video today is that we really want to thank you all for all of the incredible work that you've done on the T4D project as facilitators in Indonesia. Um, we know how hard you all have worked, um, how much you've done to help motiva motivate and identify community activists, to help facilitate discussions about what the problems are in the communities and the social actions that communities might want to undertake. And we know that this has involved a lot of sacrifice on your side, um, everything from difficult travel uh, situations to, you know, working on weekends, and we really, really appreciate it. This project would not be what it is today without all of the work that you're doing. Um, we're also so excited to hear about some of the results from the project. Uh, we know that because of the work that you've done in identifying community activists and um, helping to support their work, there's incredible things happening with uh, women in communities knowing more about the right actions for maternal and newborn health. Um, we know that a lot of communities have started talking to their midwives and village heads and Puskas Mas heads and even above that to try to improve maternal and newborn health. And we're just so excited with everything we're hearing about that's happening. And, you know, I know that we've now entered kind of the second half of the, um, the T4D intervention. Um, you know, you've recently started with the follow-up one meetings and everything. And um, as we're going into a different phase, you know, I just would like to encourage you to, to keep up the really good work and to keep up you know, your spirit around everything. Um, you know, I, I realize that you might experience some challenges in the field. For example, maybe a few of the CAs drop out, but that's why it's really important to, you know, keep pushing forward and keep working with those CAs that are still motivated. Great. We also want to thank you for all of the effort that you've put into all of the reporting to the Patero team and to our team. Um, it's sometimes hard to realize this, but you all are part of a much larger team of people that is doing this work. Um, that includes the staff in the Patero office in Jakarta, the staff in South Sulawesi and in Banten, um, as well as people like us who are based in the U.S. and doing this research. And the reporting that you all are doing is helping us understand what's working and what's not and it's really helpful for us so thank you and thank you for being so comprehensive with your reports and for submitting them on time please continue doing this <laughs> and just to jump off of you know what Courtney said you know not only you know are you guys based in Indonesia and those of us based in the United States but we also have a team in Tanzania and you know we're in the process of um, thinking about a second phase to our work and, and really the big picture here is that we're trying to improve maternal and neonatal health through community empowerment and you know this is a really exciting program it's different from you know other programs that have been done before we're not paying the CAs you know we we really want to see and and we really believe in their own ability to improve their communities and we're seeing such exciting things happen so and a lot of this really has to do with the hard work that you've been so finally, before we wrap up, um, we just want to thank you all again. You're doing such incredible work, and I know how much time and commitment you're putting to this. We also want to thank the larger team working in Indonesia. Um, that includes the entire Patero team, because as you all know, they have put in also lots of time and even a lot of time and energy before you all even started working on the project. So a big thanks to the Patero Jakarta team. Um, we also want to thank the uh, province coordinator, coordinators, Oji and Wawan, who are doing a great job, and the teams that they're working with in the local Patero offices. Um, and then we also want to thank Jenna and Rexa for all of the great work they're doing supporting this as well from JPAL and working with the T4D team. So again, thank you all so much. Uh, you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work, and we can't wait to hear more about how the rest of the intervention goes. Thank Bye. you. Thanks.